Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we are going to learn a concept which is your accounting for convertible bonds. Let's understand this in a detailed format. At the very inception stage, we need to understand that you know bonds are the long term. They are known as your long term uh, financial instrument. Okay, through which a company raises capital for the investors. So the period of bond, the rate of interest, so I'll write for you period, the rate of interest and the amount of the bond is, is fixed in advance. So the bonds are of different types and generally they're tailor-made as per the needs of the issue income. Now in this tutorial, we'll look at the accounting for the convertible bonds in a detailed format. Now there are a couple of types of uh, bonds that one needs to understand. Let's go a step by step process the first type of con uh, bond is known as the collateral uh, trust bond now what is this collateral trust bonds see the investor requires collateral against the investment in the bond so the collateral can be in the form of like land they have in the form of land they have a building so not only land but building also then uh, any other property uh, for the of the company so second the guaranteed bonds if any so at, the, at times instead of collateral issuer arranges to get guarantee uh, from the third party and all the payments associated with the bonds are guaranteed by the third party the third one is the convertible bond in case of the convertible bonds at times instead of the collateral issuer arranges to get guarantee of third party so all the payments associated with the bonds are guaranteed by the third party the fourth type of bond is your convertible debt now this type of bonds can be converted into like common stock and you can say that uh, shares actually common stock or the shares of the issuers fifth that is the debentures now these debts do not have collateral associated with it but uh, a fixed interest you can see that uh, rate which is generally higher than that the collateral trust bonds uh, of the guaranteed actually the guaranteed bonds the next we have is the zero coupon bond now what is zero coupon bond see as the name suggests no coupon in uh, in in the words in other words of interest is paid on this type of bonds so instead the investors they buy the bonds at at, at discount to the face value at the time of the redemption and they receive the entire face value so the difference is the profit that they make from the zero coupon bonds now let's understand the convertible bonds now as mentioned earlier this bonds entitle the bondholder to convert their bonds into the fixed number of shares of the issuing company usually at the time of the maturity so thus the convertible bonds have the feature of both equity as well as the liability okay they have both the characteristics now they give an option to the bondholders at the time of the conversion it on the discretion whether they want to convert and get equity shares or opt out and get cash against these bonds the company's reliant let's say company's reliant issues in an example format it issues 500 let's say convertible bonds i'll write cb information to the same are something as follow it has the face value of the bond FV, which is standing at $1,000. Date of issue is, let's say, uh, 1st January 2016. The date of maturity, let's say it is 31st of December 2020. The coupon rate, the CR, is 10%, and the frequency is annual. Okay. So these are a couple of details related to the example. Now this means that one bond is equal to the five equity shares. That is, you know, can we say it as five is to one the company ratio at the time of the maturity, and the rate prevailing in the market is fifteen percent. So this this is how the things are been uh, taken down in the convertible bond. Now the basis for the accounting for convertible bonds. Now since the, since the convertible bonds have the feature of both liability as well as the equity, it makes more sensible to account for the liability portion and then the equity portion. So this will help to give a true and fair view of the financial statement of the organization. The first and the foremost thing is that you know as these bonds are convertible to equity in the future, they offer a lower interest 
rate and accounting for the equity and the debt portion separately will show the true uh, financial uh, cost of the organization second it is very important to show that the debt might be converted into equity and the financial statement should clearly demonstrate the fact let's get started with the accounting part see accounting will split up into three parts the first is you know it is like the issue of the bond then you have the annual coupon payments coupon payments and the last last one is the settlements of settlement of the bond so let's go through each one of them in detail to understand the entire flow of the accounting for convertible bond first we'll go with the issue part the split between the equity and the liability portion needs to be accounted for at the time of the issue of the bond itself so the equity and the liability portion of the convertible bond can be calculated using the residual approach now this approach assumes that the value of the equity portion is equal to the difference between the total amount received and the proceeds of the bond and the present value of the future cash flow from the bond it involves a the liability portion which is your liability portion of the convertible bond is basically the present value it is a pv of all the future cash flow and uh, calculated by discounting the future cash flow of the bonds interest in principal at the market rate of interest with the assumption that no conversion is option is available and using this example what we just understood it will look something like this it will look something like this the year date the coupons final maturity amount and then it is discounted to get the present value which, which gives us the final present value as this particular amount the b is your equity portion value of the equity portion will be different between the total proceeds received from the bonds and the present value of the liability portion so the total proceed will be uh, equal to your 1000 into 500 that was the amount total that gives you 5 lakh and the present value of the bond was uh, let's pick up this amount from here so the equity portion of the bond is going to be is equal to your total proceeds minus the present value this is supposed to be 5 lakh so i'll just take it 1 2 3 4 5 5 lakh less this amount that is 83803.88 so the very uh, journal entry over here is going to be 10% uh, convertible bonds series 1 or the 10% convertible bond uh, sorry the bank account will be debited because that's the amount you will receive that's going to be 5 lakh to share premium that will be 83803.88 we have to 10% convertible bonds series that will be present value amount so this is how the journal entry has to be incorporated same goes with the annual coupon payments and the journal entry for the same goes uh, like this the interest account debit the interest account will be debited to the extent of the interest that are been paid which is going to be closely to 62 429.42 to convertible bonds account debit that will be 12,429, which is your uh, present value. And the amount that is going to go, bank account, that is going to be 5 lakh. So, this is how the accounting entries are going to go about for with this particular bonds. On the final concluding note, convertible bonds are of different types. We understood the entry portion, also uh, how they have been bifurcated. Uh, that's it for now for the accounting of convertible bonds so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers